and welcome to KTB TV and uh, the hopefully conclusion to the breadboard CPU build. Um, I have uh, cleaned up so much. I have a little bit that I uh, have left to do, but tonight we're going to add in the jump or conditional logic circuitry um, to actually try and make this thing do something. So that's going to be fun. Oh, and also we're going to get into um, more than just the uh, first 16 bits. Um, so that's always nice. Um, so a couple things uh, that I have learned while figuring out the uh, conditional, not the conditional, I'm sorry, figuring out the control logic. Number one is that I wired up the EPROMs backwards. I don't know why I feel like I need to lean into the mic. When it's this close to my face, I feel like I need to lean into the mic. Um, normally, it's farther away, and everything's fine. Um, so, uh, let's see. Let's switch to the... Um, not that. This one. So, down here, um, which I'm just going to swap around here. I'm going to look at it upside down. Because I'm going to zoom in. Whoa! All right. So, focus, focus, focus. There we go. So, um, a couple fun things. Um, so, this here, it turns out the address uh, lines, uh, these eight address lines here, I wired them backwards. <laughs> so, I... Uh, every instruction was very wrong so i wired the instructions lines back instruction lines backwards so that's fun so i have since fixed that and this actually works um number one there's that number two so this skip uh circuit here was not working because i realized that um this go this is a um active low so this is held high and then meanwhile this is this over here is holding it high from the clear circuit. So if one of them is high, then nothing happens. So I've changed that uh, with this extra little NAND uh, gate here. So I have to add a little bit of um, magic around here, by which I mean just replace these jumpers with uh, an actual proper line somewhere uh, so that... Uh, the clear circuit gets nanded with the skip uh, command, the skip flag, and then it will actually skip when appropriate. So right now it's wired in. It will do that, but right now we're not. I'm not going to wire that in. So maybe we'll do that tonight if I have time. But um, so so. I think that's everything else. Let's see how it works right now, because it hasn't actually worked on stream yet. So let's see how this works right now. I'm gonna zoom out. Now there are some, there are some things that need to get changed about this before um, it will really feel one hundred percent complete. But um, for the moment, let's turn that off. For the moment. Look at out! It outputs numbers. Ooh. Um, so, what I really need to do? We hit this reset here, and we're gonna let's program in something. So, uh, oh, I should get a piece of paper. Hold on. Uh, why don't I have any paper around here? Hold on.
Now then. Piece of paper and also pen acquired. So. Oh yes, by the way, the uh, music tonight is yet again Overclocked Remix. Um, this is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time playlist. Because I enjoyed that one. So I'm going to do it again. So I'm going to actually... Alright. So, let's see how we're going to actually do this program. So what program are we going to do? We're going to add some numbers. That's it. Oh, also the stack doesn't quite work yet. Um, I think I have an idea of how to fix it, but that's for another time. So, we're going to need to program this just a little bit. So let's add some numbers. So we're going to do this the easy way. We're going to say, we're going to, all right, brand new pen. Hold on. There we go. All right. So we're going to have to load an immediate value. So let's say load a immediate. Um, and we're going to load, uh, oh, it's a good number to load. And then we're going to load B immediate. B immediate. And then we're going to add them together. And then we're going to output them. And then we're going to halt. All right. So, um, a good number. A good number is... 35 and 15. Let's do that. So we'll say 35, 35, and 15. Cool. And I immediately drop frames as soon as I recognize. Oh, yes, let me do this number. Sure. So 35 and 15. Now you'll notice I've placed them down here instead of like next to them, like regular operands would be. This is to keep it straight in my brain. So this is a, a, a basic adding program. So I have a calculator. So let's see. For each of these, sorry, each of these is going to go into a into a piece of memory. Um, let's pull up over here. Let's pull up over here. This has what the uh, instructions are. So. Load A is zero. I'm sorry. Load A immediate is zero zero one one. Um, we'll just assume that we are going to say zero 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 zero. All right, fine. Zero 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 one one. Okay. Load B is zero 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 one zero zero. Add is one, two, three, four zeros. Zero, one, one, one. Out is zero, 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 zero. One, one, zero, one. And then halt is zero, 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 one, 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 one. Okay. So. Oh, I should probably actually figure out what 35 is in binary. It's a. Uh, Zero zero one zero 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 one one. There we go. I can still do binary off the top of my head, right? Zero 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 one 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 one. All right. For fifteen. Okay. So let's actually program this in. So into slot zero, we're gonna say load a. Then into slot one, we're gonna say thirty-five. So thirty-two plus two, plus one, boop, okay. We've got a 35 in there. Load B is 100. Oh, let's make sure that I actually um, do this in the correct, load B goes into memory location two. Then the, well, load B immediate. Then the 15 goes into location three. I actually hit the button for location two. Yes, good. Then for add, 
zero 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 one 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 zero 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 one 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 and then location five location five uh out there we go and location six is halt all right let's set all those back to normal we'll change this over from programming mode to automatic mode and we'll move this back into whoa position so so there are a couple of um interesting things uh quirks at the moment so um the load a immediate value um actually you know what i'm literally just gonna let this run so let's let it run it'll go I've done this I've done this one a couple times <laughs> recently, so Hey look at that. No. Oh. Wait a minute. I don't know what happened here. I don't know what happened here. Hold on a second. Did this not halt? Oh yeah, something's something's going on here. Oh yeah, so all right, so this memory location is definitely wrong. Uh 0010 uh sorry, 000, zero, zero. Memory location six. I must not have hit the button for halt in here. Yeah, I didn't hit the button for halt. So that'll do it. There we go. Let's try that again. Reset that. Ah! It's still, uh, it's still skipping some things. Why are you skipping things? What is happening? It definitely hit 50 here. All right, let's walk through it slowly. So the load A here, we'll, we'll change over to this page because this page will show me exactly what the steps are gonna do. So for load A immediate, we're looking right here. So for load A immediate, step zero, counter out memory in oh yeah i never uh i never actually created a uh a nice little map there of what each of those is but counter out and memory in um and let's manually cycle the clock so counter out and memory in so counter out goes to zero memory in is zero yep cool then ram out instruction register in counter enable so ram is currently going out but it's not actually going well yeah it's on the bus but it's not going to get into the instruction register until i hit the button again then counter enable so this should go to two this should go to one. Oh, i'm sorry down here but ah, i keep mixing up the stack the stack and the instruction register sorry um okay then counter out memory in counter out memory in good uh Yes, so then ram out a register and counter enable. Ram out a register and counter enable. Good, good, good. Okay, reset there and then skip. It's already, as soon as that skip hits low, it already jumps to the next instruction. I don't know how much I like that, but uh, that's where we're at. <laughs> All right, so for the next instruction, counter out memory in. Okay, I'm sorry, counter out memory in here. Then RAM out, instruction register in, counter enable. Okay, then this is for load B immediate. So counter out memory in, RAM out B in, counter enable, good. Then it's skipped back to the next one. Good. So what's our next instruction? 
add. So counter out memory in. Oh, whoops. Meh. Good thing that do button doesn't do anything. All right. Uh, RAM out, instruction register in. RAM out, instruction register in. Yes. Um, what is this on the What is this on the bus? Oh, uh, uh, it's already got the... Um, yeah, it's already got the... Oh, I'm sorry. We're looking for add. Sum out A in. So sum out is on the bus. It should go into A. Okay, and then it skips. And then we've got output. So output. Counter out memory in. Okay. And that's the correct instruction in the register. RAM out. Instruction register in. Correct. Now then for output. Yeah, so this is where one of the quirks happens. Is that the um, instruction... The the output... Um, the output register is perfectly fine with not taking the leading edge for some reason. So... It bumps this up a little bit quickly. So I might... Actually, let's change that right now. Um, I'm literally just going to say... Um, actually, I'm literally just going to say zero here instead. Um, and then... Okay, there we go. Um, can I just say, like, out early? Nope. Nope. Delay. All right, there we go. Oh, I can't. Can I do an inline comment like this? It's been a while since I've done C so much. I can, but it's too long now. All right, fine. I won't do a comment there. Fine. Be like that. Okay, so output. So either way, um, the third step of output is, um, well, yeah. Third step of output is A out instruction register in. 50. Good. That's our total. And then it skips. Now, counter out, register in. Six. And that's incorrect. Oh. Did I mess up six? Did I mess up what step six was? Uh... Hold on a second. Let's fix that. Step six should be that. Right? There we go. Uh, cut that back over there. Good. Now, um, the fun thing about this is that I need to reprogram how the halt works. Um, I figured out why the... Uh, why the halt was here is because it's never going to get to these because it's actually using them from the previous step. So I need to hit halt immediately on that, but this should just halt right now. Good. And now and now further clock cycles do nothing. Okay. So apparently I massively missed hitting putting a halt in here. Let's reset. Gonna run it faster than that. Yep. And if I run it as fast as possible, it just blinks straight to 50. So cool. All right, so it does work. I'm not a crazy person. I'm just bad at programming. Noted. Okay. So there are a couple of tweaks that need to happen. Number one, I need to pro I need to reflash the uh, the regist the EPROMs because this is not correct. And let's put in the jump logic while we're at it. So the idea is that let's let's put in what our regular jump command is, um, which I'm gonna put as let's see, 16. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna put it as one more here. So our jump. What are YouTube? Is, is YouTube telling me I'm not listening already? Because I am. 
Oh no, it's just the end of Garden of Venus is very long for some reason. Okay. So, um, we're going to make this one zero 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 zero. And this is actually going to be jump. Okay. So, we're going to actually make sure that this is jump with carry or jump with the zero. So jump if the zero flag is set, or jump if the carry flag is set. So that's actually going to be, need to be 18. Okay. Um, I'm not using this no up because I need two of them. So that's why I'm not replacing that yet. So, uh, bump, 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 bump. What are we looking at? We're looking at not halting. We're looking at... Um, Sorry, my brain, my brain really, really, really wants to um, fix this right now. Um, uh, oops. Please ignore this. Because <laughs> um, this is hopefully going to fix the stack, but I don't know if it is. And that's not something we're going to worry about right now, but it means if it works, I don't need to reflash the EPROMs, which takes 15 minutes, 20 minutes actually, because they take about six minutes a piece, which is why we're doing this now before I even set the circuit up. So um, we're going to say for these ones, for these jump instructions, we're going to say um, don't actually do anything here. Which seems silly. So, the way that Ben set this up, he copied the um, he copied this into four different arrays, and I think that's wasteful of memory. So instead, I'm going to waste CPU cycles and do an if statement. Just watching my stream crash again for a moment. Please hold. See, I don't know why it's doing this. Yep. Just drops for three seconds and then everything's fine. All right, cool. So I don't want to do this. Um, you'll notice here that he, what he basically does is he says, oh, okay, you know, we'll make four of these and then we'll change literally one flag. We'll change one flag, which like, but why? But why? So, um... What I'm actually going to do, and oh, uh, let me make sure that I change, that I, no, do I need to, I don't need to add anything here. Uh, this has this jump carry and jump Z here, which I'm not using. So, uh, I am using this, but I don't think that these are actually correct. So, what I want to do is I want to actually come and bring this down here, and we're going to... Uh, well, all right, I can leave the definitions up here. Um, but these f flags are going to be different. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to say... Um, so this this basically takes the flags, right? So I want to say, um, uh, oh, the flags, oh, the, fl I'm sorry, the flags take, the flags are actually these two bits shifted all the way down to the bottom. So it's actually a zero, one, two, or three. So good. That's perfect. So, um, so these will work. Um, now the jump carry and the jump is zero are going to be a little bit different here. I'm going to say here. Oops. No, no. Control C. And this is actually 0B because these are binary. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say um, 
Oh yes, yeah, so you can see all of my uh, extra troubleshooting code here. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, we're gonna actually take. Um, we're gonna take the flags here, and we're gonna replace the um, instructions. Um, inside of here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to say, um, I'm going to get some lines here. Thank you. So, if flags uh, equals flags zero is off and C is off, then we're going to do nothing. Actually, we're going to do, we're going to break. Um, there we go. So we're going to say, whoops, that was a bad alt tab. That's fine. Um, replace jump instructions. All right, there we go. We'll say replace jump carry instructions. Oh. Again, that actually does, that sounds more appealing to me than the last time. No, what? Just skip this. There you go. But I'm talking and I'm not going to be able to, uh, the jazzy stuff is a little bit different, I think. But right now I'm talking. All right, so actually we're gonna say if this or flags equals Z1 carry one. Okay, uh, there we go. Else, if zero, there we go. Uh, I'm gonna switch these because I'm indecisive. All right, so replace jump zero instructions. Replace jump carry instructions. So, how do we want our actual jump uh, to work? Um, so, we're going to say uh, Ben's jump, for what it's worth, said instruction register out, which took the lower four bits of his instruction register and put them into here. That's not going to work. <laughs> for mine so i'm actually going to need to um replace several things so we're gonna say um we're gonna need to say uh step zero i'm sorry um, ba -ba -ba. step th step two so um Um, oh, I might as well, I might as well put a skip in here, shouldn't I? Should I? I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave one blank just for the delay. Delay one clock cycle, um, and then I'll put the skip there. So if nothing happens, it'll delay one clock cycle, and then it'll skip. But, if our flags are set, and we actually want to jump, we're gonna say, um, oh yeah, see, this is the actual, uh, key here is that um, he's able to replace just that one bit of the uh, he's able to just replace that one bit of the uh, instruction but I'm not going to be doing that so well let's do this this way uh we're going to say, so, um, instruction number two, I'll, I'll actually fix how that's supposed to be written in a moment, but instruction number, uh, step number two is going to be, uh, replace jump zero instructions. We're going to say, um, counter out, uh, memory in, instruction three is then going to be ram out, um, and then jump. 
because we're going to jump to the memory address listed next. Oh, that's right. But in this case, this is going to have to say counter enable to just count past it. Um, so that it uh, it will s it actually skip over it. So there we go. See, we have a good we have a good reason for that delay. Uh, and so we should counter enable here as well. Um, oh no, we don't need to counter enable because we're overwriting it. Duh. Okay. Uh. Ah, and then the instruction here is, um, this is for jump zero. And this is for jump zero. All right. And then this one here is going to do the same thing, but in the jump carry area. All right. So, uh, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this out of here and I'm going to say, let's, let's grab what our, um, let's grab what our instruction is supposed to be. And then we can replace what the instruction is. So, or, um, well, we know what the instruction is, but let's say the, uh, the micro instruction. Um, and then we'll write that afterwards. So we'll say, in this case, we're going to say, uh, uh, yeah. Um, this is not normally how I would, I would normally do camel case, but all right. So we're going to take this and we're going to grab it from here. Okay, cool. So we're going to take this micro instruction and we're going to say, we'll say uh, in micro instruction equals zero. Hey, how's it going, Danzig? There we go. So that'll take our micro instruction. Then we can say, okay, if the flags are set, um, and then if our add if our instruction is yes there we go if instruction no oh, i don't need to there if instruction equals jump to zero right cuz uh the instruction is just going to be the instruction um Jump zero is defined up here. Oh, uh, I defined these backwards. There we go. And so there we go. So we'll say if the instruction is jump zero, then uh, and these flags are set. <laughs> There we go. So many, so many extra conditionals. So if the instruction is jump zero and the flags are set to do that uh, instruction, then replace the jump zero instructions. Uh, we're gonna say the, yes. If step equals two, then do this one. Uh, micro instruction micro instruction equals that uh, else if if step equals three do that else if step equals four uh, skip and that's it. Um, does he accept these still like this? I think so. I'm fairly confident C is going to accept those. And we'll see. No pun intended. 
Um, all right. Uh, this is all going to be the same. Uh, but the instruction here is going to be set differently. Uh, we're going to say if the instruction is jump carry and the rest of these, then change these three, please. Um, and then down here we'll say, write the microcode, micro instruction. Um, and it'll just be that section of instructions that is needed. Oh, ooh. I'm realizing, I'm realizing for the EEPROM, I'm gonna need to, I'm gonna need to fix exactly which this, which of these, depending on the EEPROM, this is going to have to change. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, you know what? I will just literally just create a single array. Um, oh, that's a way better idea. Um, so you int 32t, and this is going to be called um, jump. Uh, success. Uh, and it's gonna have eight bits in it. <laughs> Equals. Um, I think I have to have it like that. So. So we're gonna take this. Whoop! Did I drop again? No, that that was just the computer there. Okay, so. This is a way cleaner way to do this. Um, let's pick this. Oh yeah, and then we can just replace all of them. We can just replace all of them. Okay. Just gonna pull this. We can literally just use this um, We can use this entire array to just pick all the steps out of it. Um, so this is step two. Oh. This is step three. And this is step four. Oh, I, uh... uh oh, hey, that shouldn't be there. All right. Apparently, apparently, with C, you can leave a trailing comma in there. Um, I didn't know that. Um, well, we'll see if it compiles properly or not. Uh, we're just going to line that up with the ones up top nicely. Okay. So, this is what we do if we have a successful jump. So, instead, down here... Um... Yes, instead down here we'll say uh Ooh, how do I how do I nicely put this? Uh we'll say jump success and uh literally just take the the if statement out. Micro in instruction equals jump success of the specific step. Look at that. Um, that's a lot easier. Except that, again, I have to shift it based on the EEPROM. So I guess this is just going to be... I guess I'm just going to have to do this twice. I don't like that. It's kind of repeating code. But uh, here we are. Um... I don't I don't like doing that at all but but cool. Oh. 
up. I should probably put a, a semicolon there, huh? Yeah. But not there. Okay. Okay. I think this works. We'll find out. Let's see if it even compiles. All right, okay, so it compiles properly. And I'm still at less than 50% of uh, my RAM, so that's good. Uh, now let's actually program the EPROMs. And we'll be able to um, fiddle around with the actual thing while we're working on that. Okay. Uh, where's... Come, come on. Oh, I put it up here. Specifically, put it up here. Okay. Um, let's pull up... Let's unplug this. So. Gonna unplug that. I'm going to put you to the side for a sec. Let's pull out the EEPROM. And put the EEPROM in in the right direction. I don't want to burn another one of these out. I only have one more extra, and I'd like to use it for something different. Okay. That is the correct direction. Okay. So this is... I'm gonna I'm gonna put this to the side, but... Um, no, this is an Arduino Nano. Where is it? Port 7. Okay. Um, I should be able to open the serial monitor. I can. Good. Uh, let's upload that and then clear the serial monitor quickly before it finishes uploading. There we go. Oh, right, I'm sorry, the serial monitor is uh, behind that window, isn't it? All right, so this is going to start programming this. Let's put that to the side, and we'll do the actual... Um, we'll do the actual thing. The thing. We'll do the thing! Okay. So... Um, I'm going to build the jump circuit up here, which is very far away from everything else, but, um, it's right next to the, uh, adder, so. <sighs> yep. Alright, so let's look at what our jump circuit is actually going to look like. Before anything else. Alright, so... We have two different flags. Number one is the carry flag that comes out of the top adder. Um, that's easy enough. And then the other one is, um, I believe this is the A circuit. Uh, no, this is, I'm sorry, that is literally, that's still just out on the ALU. Let me just double check that. Yeah, A in, B in, and then... Yeah, that's just... I'm sorry. That's literally just the output of the... Um, of all of the lines of the adder. And then if we put them through this fun NOR and combo circuit, um, I should have picked up an 8-port AND. I specifically looked at them at the store and said, No, I I, I don't need an 8-put AND gate. Why would I, why would I need that? Um, so... Uh, we'll build this with two chips instead, um, right over here. So, uh, both of those go into a uh, register, and then that register uh, goes to the two inputs of the EEPROM. So, that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. I'm going to try and keep up the serial monitor so that I know when I can swap out the EEPROM. So I need three chips here. Um, I need a register and I need, oh, I need a NOR, I need the OR gates. Sorry, the NOR gates, which is the 74LS02. 
this is zero four. Um, this is zero eight. You don't need that. This is zero two. So the zero two, the zero eight is the AND gate. And then I'm going to need a 74 LS173. There we are. Um, I have a couple of extra things here. Yep. That That is correct. I have a couple extra things here. Okay. So, I think I think the extra chips that I have in here are all from the RAM that I didn't use. Because um, I replaced it with my own RAM. All right. So, let's see. We're going to set these things around somehow. Where are the outputs of this? The outputs of this are all over. Oh, the outputs of this go right here. That's less fun. I'm going to need to pull all of these over here. I mean, like, I could put it down here, but could put it down here but I have this nice stuff here so uh, yeah this is gonna all go up here I guess um, you can go there you can go there there oh I'm sorry is that even the right chip <laughs> yes that is that's the and this is the ore so we're gonna pull the ore out um, we're gonna pull the ore out over here. All the inputs to the ore are gonna go there. That's fun. Uh, yeah, quad ore gate. Uh, that's gonna be a giant pain in my ass is what I'm realizing right now. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, okay. Um, what I am realizing is that if I can squish these two together, that would be of my best interest. I can't! Alright. Guess we're gonna run four lines through this gap. Great! Okay. Alright. Let's pull this down just a little bit. Oh, and that's, uh... Oh, no, that's... that's that's actually fine because it's uh, just tying the same pin to itself. Um, so, let's get some power and ground for these. Do I have any more pre-made powers and grounds that are of the right size? I have one power. One power. That is a power. Do I have two power? I have two power. Um, that is a a clear circuit that's in my way. Come on, man. That ah. Okay, well that that little tie down is gone forever. Um, I just want to put you down before the. There we go. That yeah, that little tie down is gone forever. It zoomed off into the ether yep okay all right so that's two power and i'm going to need to oh this tie down however is sitting right here okay uh i'm going to need to make some for the rest of them so So one more power, at least. Oh, come on, go out the dang hole. Damn it, all right, fine. Not even gonna do that. I'm literally just gonna cut you here. Is there anything that needs to get tied high? No. Nothing needs to get tied high for the moment. So. That means that that red is done being used for the moment. How about black? Can black come out through its hole, please? 
Come out of the hole of the box. There we go. All right. And everything was fine. Because black saw its shadow that day. No, wait. Didn't see its shadow? Six more weeks of... Circuits. Uh, I don't know. It, this the way that this is done is just uh, I don't know what it is about this but every time I hear this one it just goes in your head in your head I don't know what it is about those uh, the the violin with those chords but uh that's what's in my head oh good this uh, e prom is done um, this EEPROM is done. I'm going to pop it out. And switch to the next one. Um. Sorry, let's... Whoop. EEPROM. Hopefully, correctly coded now. Uh, for, you know, halt and stuff. Make sure that we load this the correct direction. No more burning out EEPROMs. Okay. Press the button. And it's programming again. Okay, cool. Put, just putting this other EEPROM back, it's fine. Okay, there we go. Now then, uh, just powered that up. Okay, so. One. Ah. There's a couple other things that need to get tied to ground as well, like I think the um, the uh, the register itself. Um, yeah, it has two pins that need to get tied down. There we go. Flip the page around and it makes more sense in my brain. Um, here we are. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to run all eight lines for the, uh, for the, um, for the or gate tonight. I think I'm going to just, uh, use, um, some flexible jumpers for it. Because I want to get this done, but, like, I can do the neatening up of the last couple things on my time. And I can post a picture to the Discord, so, you know, that's a thing. Alright, so we're powered up. Um, now we need to go into here and go from here to here. So, I actually want to double check the... Uh, yeah, the NOR gate actually goes backwards from how I would normally expect it. So I've got to remember that. So I'm going to do my outputs to um, the AND gate, which goes in a normal direction. I don't know why the NOR gate is different. Like, that's very odd to me. <clears throat> uh, so two outs into an AND, two outs into an AND, those two ANDs into another AND, and that and finally out into the um, input, uh, which would be port 13. I'm sorry, pin 13. So yeah, up here. So let's do a bunch of those, which I saved green for. I have some green left. Not a lot of it, but I have some green left. here. Oh, before I do that, I should tie the, um, 
pins one and two should get tied to ground. Um, I should just do those quickly while I have the short cable making on the brain. So pins one and two get tied to ground because they are output enabled, I think. Yes. It's so interesting that like, it says output enable for two different, um, it, like it has two different output enables and two different input enables, which means it's basically two circuits side by side in here, but like it's for two bits each so interesting like is it literally just like an and gate in there or something i don't know i mean it probably is i could probably look that up and it would just show me um but why why do two output enables instead of uh instead of a single one is my point. All right. So this other one is slightly less pretty, but uh, but it will work as soon as I choose to stop touching it. All right, one and two. There we go. Oh, come on! Did I not bend that well enough? I did not bend that well enough, actually. Ah! Now I've dropped it. And now it's gone. Oh, come on. No. No, no, no. Here we are. Here we are. Alright. Go in. Okay, so those are set, um, and then I'm going to tie it, numbers 9 and 10 together. Ah, perfect, I do have one left. Oops, numbers 9 and 10, just double checking, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yes, it's an 8 pin chip, good. Which means that these two get tied together here, and then... I'm actually going to be pulling up from uh, one of the control flags for that one, so that's flag in. Um, we've got a clock across here as well. Um, a clock and a clear. A clear is the clear is high. Um, which one is the clear for high? I don't recall. Um, so this is held low unless I press the button in which case it goes high oh I'm sorry this circuit is held low unless I press the button in which case the circuit goes high so this low goes into here and that that I'm sorry wait Oh, does this work? This is an AND gate, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this... Um, no, I'm confused about this one specifically. Oh, this one gets NANDed over here again. What? Why did I do it that way? You know what? It literally does not matter. I think I did it just for room. Like, it doesn't matter. Okay. My point is that this is low if I get it from here so actually this here i actually can like pull from right next to it okay we'll do that uh the clear is number 15 oh yeah that made of course it is because they're the same chip I literally just could have looked. Oh, hey, what? Uh, uh, where's the clear on this chip? Hmm. The same chip. Literally just. 
just gonna boop right under there. Even though I should probably just pull this from somewhere else, but whatever, it's fine. Uh, actually, I want that a little bit tighter, please. There we go. So that they turn at exactly the same point. And there, okay. so funny that I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'll just put this right back afterwards. I I uh, I need to pull it out to finish stripping this. Good. The other EEPROM is done. Uh, second EEPROM is done programming. Oh. Well, oh, okay. There's some. There's a scrap of white somewhere. Ah, found it. Yeah, Hyrulean Overture. This is, uh, who is this by? This is by, uh, Freeze Tag. This is, oh, this is really good. Um, also, I just like this song. Alright, there we go. That is now... Popped in there. There we go. Cool. So that clear is now set. Um, so let's pull over um, the oars to the and, shall we? So this is the output and this is the output. That's so weird. All right. Because that last bit, was that Skyward Sword or Wind Waker? I always mix them up. Um, I will fix that in a moment. All right. Uh, first and is here. All right. I'd be so happy to have this working properly. All right. That one to there. There's one input. Here's our other input. For our other half of our and here. Because it doesn't matter as long as they all get nord out and then anded together. It will work. doesn't matter which ones go to which. I believe. I'm pretty sure that's correct. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> Let's do two more of those. Then we'll do the outputs to a single name, to a single and. <laughs> There we go. Why am I doing it right up against the chip? 
instead of out here where I have all this room. All right. Uh, that was the output for this one. Perfect. Okay, that's one output. Now, the second output. Again, I have all this room, and yet here I am. Confining myself right up against the chip, because that's where I'm going to finally install it. I don't need to do that. I have plenty of room. Alright, so now the outputs from this... Oh, actually, that's so funny because I just said I was going to install it right up against the chip. Alright, so there we go. So the outs of the nor are going to the and so now the and this output goes to one input there um, which i'm literally just gonna uh wait a minute no i do not have what i thought i did um i'm literally just gonna strip off completely strip off a piece to turn down. Oh, it's completely out of focus. It's, it's fine. So that one goes out from there and into there. Um, and then before I bring this other one around, um, this is going to go to what? what is the input for this? That's going into number 13. Number 13, so 16, 15, 14, 13. Yeah, clear. Yes, yep, cool. So. The output here goes in to 13. All right. There we go. All right. So that's 13. Now then we can do this a little bit of a roundabout circuit that we've got to do. We can go over that. Uh, you know what? No. Instead, I'm gonna put this right here, and we'll go around inside it. And just kind of estimate where that needs to be. How about that? Did that work? No, that was too close. Um, also, that is uh, too deep. Alright, there we go. Alright, there. That's perfect. So that has to get to this output over here. All right.
All right, uh, let's turn that last bit. You and you. Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. So all these or all these. Eight bits goes into a nor. Nors go into eight bits go into four nors. Four nors go into two ands. Two ands go into one and. One and goes into the um, zero flag. Okay. Well, let me swap out this last um, this last eprom. <clears throat> that in in the right direction press the button and it's programming it okay good put this EEPROM back correctly please okay all right so um sorry two EEPROMs third programming now uh again I I really don't want to deal with um pulling these up to here tonight so going to use these nice long jumpers here, which I think I only have six of, so I do only have six of them. So, all right. Use one short jumper. <laughs> all right. So, this actually is going to be a problem, isn't it? There you go. You can go in between where neither chip is. Um, all right. So you and you. And you. And you. All right. You and you. You and you. And then the, they're actually um, going to grab the lowest two bits from elsewhere because it's kind of tight to grab them from over here. So. Let's see, where, where am I getting those from? This one, and this one. Mm -hmm. You. Alright, so there we go. So that's my ores. I'm, again, not tonight. <laughs> And then we've got a carry bit. Uh, this one I will I will hard code in. We'll say uh, this one I will uh, make nice. Uh, carry bit is it a fourteen? Really? Fourteen, thirteen. Oh shoot! Did I do this one wrong? This one here. 16, 15, 14, 13. Oh, yeah, I did that one wrong. Um, does it matter? It doesn't, but I'm going to correct it anyway, just so that it is matches the schematic. So that it is matching the schematic. So that it matches the schematic. One of those sentences, not both of them together, please.
It reminds me of Gershwin. I think that's why I think of Ragtime, even though it's really I'm trying to think of um, Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Rhapsody in blue is really what this reminds me of. This reminds me of Gershwin. Um, I just dropped that. And it's gone forever. No, 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 I see it in the trash box. No. No, don't fall deeper. Ah, there it is. Goodness. Whew! What a terrible time to lose. Oh, what a terrible time to lose that jumper. Just as I fix what, where it should be. What size it should be. So, this next one, we're going to take the carry out bit of the higher, of the higher one, right? Oh, uh, is it the higher one or the lower one? Are we taking the carry out or the carry in? Oh, yes, no, yeah, this is the highest bit. So, from this one, because I'm... Nope. Alright. Uh, again, I can't, I can't think. Um, so, I'm sorry, so this is the higher bits. So I'm looking for port number nine. Port pin number nine. This one, this one should have one going from nine to seven. That's correct. Yeah, so number nine there. Okay. This is gonna, gonna make me skip this again. No words. Okay. Uh. Of course I, yeah. Yep, this, this sounds really nice too. All right, if I can think and talk, then that will stay. All right, there we go. That one can go over there and Pin. I keep saying port. So I, I do a lot of networking, okay? Um, all right, pin number fourteen here. I know, I just like very carefully put this into the other one. Alright, hold on. Let's see. Yes, please don't break when I turn you. Good. Um, actually. I'm going to turn that a little sharper so that it will sit better. Honestly, this kind of reminds me of Cardcaptor Sakura for some reason. But I'm a weirdo, so who knows? All right, there we go. All right. <clears throat> okay, so we've got our flags register set up. 
So now we've got to actually bring those flags down somewhere. So now we're looking at the output of this is going to be, yeah, number three is our control, our, our carry flag. And number four is our zero flag. Now I actually think I happen to have two LEDs for this, so that's convenient. Um, two LEDs already pre-soldered, I should say, so that they won't drop too much voltage. Um, there we go. How about that one? Oh, no, that one actually I'm going to put over here. There we go. Don't touch. No touching. All right, there we go. Realizing I probably should have been zoomed in for a good chunk of that. But okay, there we go. So we've got our two LEDs. Um, and so now we're just going to have to bring these two signals down. So um, I'm going to bring first down uh, port number four. That's the zero flag. The zero flag. <clears throat> oh, good. This EEPROM is done programming. Um, I'm just going to unplug this. And this can sit over here for a moment because I'm not going to install that EEPROM just yet. Our zero flag. Um, hello, noobs. How's it going? Or doctor, I should call you, I'm sure. Um, zero flags. Oh, all right, here we go. So zero is the higher. And I know there's a face in here, too. It's very weird. So zero is the higher bit, and carry is the lower bit because of how this is set. So zero is the higher bit, carry is the lower bit. Um, do I have on hand the... Whoop, ignore that. Please ignore the man behind the curtain. I Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm mostly floating hands. Um, 28C256. So... The two bits that I have reserved um, there we go. Not that one. That one. The two bits that I have reserved are a twelve and a thirteen. So I'm sorry, is that correct? No, I'm sorry, a eleven. See, alright. So a eleven and a twelve. So, if um, A11, oh, cool, I, I, that's probably how I will refer to you, but I just, you know, it's my doctor, I don't know. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's probably one of the dumbest jokes I've ever made, um, and that's saying a lot. So, this is bit... <sighs> 14, 13, 12, and 11. So 0 goes to bit 12, and carry goes to bit 11. Um, yeah, like 5 five meter. Yeah, that's right. Actually, about 1 foot, <laughs> just to make it as awkward as possible. Yeah, it's about 1 foot. What, one fit, one, it's a 1 foot processor. Um uh, but that's the size of the transistor, right? So, I mean, technically the transistors are probably like 20 nanometer or something like that. 22 nanometer. I don't know. I, who who manufactures 74 LS parts these days? Two, 200 nanometer. Uh, all right. I'm going to stop making this terrible joke. A11 is the carry flag. A12 is the zero flag. All right. I really hope that I got that correct. Um, it should be easy enough to swap them. Otherwise, I'll just have to leave a little bit extra. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. So, um, already forgotten. Twelve is zero. 
So this is... Oh. Whoa! All right. This one here is 12. This one here is 11. So zero and carry. I actually would prefer to have those be different, but yeah. So zero, carry. Okay. Uh, let's do zero first. Yeah. Let's set the gauge of my uh, wire stripper correctly so that I don't just cut through a wire first. Yet again, I seem to have dropped a piece of plastic on the board that I'm never going to find. Nope. There's a white piece of plastic somewhere on this board. Aha! This is like... Every time I do this, it's like fucking Where's Waldo over here. All of these things look exactly the same. Which one isn't plugged in? Every time. All right. Number four. Oh. Number four is here. Um, oh, and I'm actually going to have to connect the, uh, the jump as well. Um... I uh, might as well stick this inside here right now. Um, though I suppose I can bring this down a little bit. So this... Uh... <laughs> Way across. Box sit there. Alright. Um, actually, I want to bend that a little bit lower. Yeah, that'll work. Um, come on over here. And. Um, yeah, actually, come inside that. And you can go in right there, and that'll be perfect. I have other plans for how I want this jump to work, because I actually want to use... I actually want to construct a, a an interrupt circuit for this as well. But um, that's gonna take some redesign and planning so because i want to be able to do um keyboard input that would be nice um we'll see if that actually happens or oh, shit i lost track of where it is it's right here second from the top buddy I know exactly where this is supposed to be so just go in go in all right so there's one Um, let's do the second one, which I'm going to pop right in down here because, uh, it's connected all the way across. So cool. Let's hope this works. Um, Is that the right size? It is. All right. Um, now, I, now that these are uh, both here, I can do the rest of these little tie-down jumpers. Okay. Hey, sit down, down, S stay where you're supposed to be. All right, all the way over here. All 
Um, though you are going to come down here. All right. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit sharper than that. Yeah, that'll work. Um, these little tie downs are a giant pain in my butt, but they are super worth it to keep things nice and neat. Though I'm realizing that I might need to lower where that one is to hold those down. Cool. Um, okay. All right, we got this. Oh, dang it. I need to bring one up to the, uh... I need to bring one up to the, uh... Flag in, so I actually am going to need to redo these. It's fine. Oh, and this one popped out. That's fun. Alright, come on. How about that? Yeah, oh, oh, that, yep, and this, this jumper is also now, I think, gone, lost for all time. No, no, here it is. Can we just bend those down a bit? There, that'll work gonna need to put another one in there anyway so cool this is not quite as tight as I want it to be but that's fine all right that'll work that'll work you can go in here um nope I'm realizing I pulled it towards myself keep doing that pulling it off camera work these little fiddly bits all right there we go you you down 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 why is why 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 do you want to pop up why do you want to pop up huh okay That EEPROM can now go in there and hold that down, hopefully. Where's the EEPROM? Don't. Yeah, there we go. Put that in the correct way. Okay, there we go. Honestly, the, the little tie down clips are the thing that won't stay the most. All right, fine. There. Happy? Stay like that. Stay like that. All right. Um, let's get the last thing taken care of, which is the flag in uh flag <laughs> the flags in control pin which is uh this one third from the end oh yeah and i've already hooked up the jump right yes good all right I haven't hooked across the clock across this yet, have I? 
Uh, let's clear the clock. Is under number seven? No, I have not. I have not brought that across. Okay. Actually, <laughs> this is funny. Um, just gonna slip this under these. And then just kind of pull it up here so that I can bend it. There we go. That's really silly. But now this can go straight out here. Perfect. Okay, that stay. This one. Hold these together. You here. Ah this isn't working. <laughs> The tie downs are not working. The tie downs, they're not working. The tie downs, they do nothing. There we go. You got there. Now oh, come on! Fuck. And another just popped out. Like, I'm not looking for a lot here, but like, come on, man! Because I keep touching these. Um, what one am I going to? Flags in is 9 and 10. I hope that's enough. Alright. Yes, that's enough. Eh. That can actually work as a tie down in itself, in a way. Alright. Uh... Oh, hey! I think this red one that popped off earlier is actually. Uh... I think this, this red one is from over here. Alright. Um... Where did my yellow one go? It's under my hand. This is. Sure. Incredibly invigorating here. Alright. Okay. That is not going to stay there, really? Come on, you, in there, and in there. There? There. Stay there while I put this one in. All right, there. Okay. All right. I don't know where this I don't know where this pot this one came from, but nothing is sticking up right now. So, oh shit! This isn't a no no. This is not a uh, power or something. This is a power though. Where did this power come from? Well, I hope that this is not actually supposed to be in something. I have. A power jumper. I don't know where it may have popped out of. Well, we'll turn things on, and uh, if something doesn't turn on, we'll find out real quick. All right. Hopefully nothing is broken. Okay, so this should have all of the necessary stuff. Oops, 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 oops. Stop, 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 stop. 
Uh, clear, clear. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not right. That's not right. Uh. Hold on a second. Did I pop something, or did this programming not work properly? Okay. I don't know what happened there, but, uh, that seems to, that seems to work. Okay. Yeah, I think that something just went crazy wrong. Something's very wrong there. Okay. Uh. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that. That happened. At all. Um, okay. Cool. Just gonna... Hope that that was a fluke. <laughs> okay. So, let's just make sure that we're in the same spot. We're gonna do our, um... Add immediate program again. <coughs> Excuse me. Blah! Not that close. Maybe try to. There we go. So let's do load A immediate again. Um. All right. Uh. Why am I looking on the camera to figure out which one I need to do? That's. I feel very dumb. Just gonna double check. I never actually hit the button for this, apparently. Oh no, that's uh, that that pulled up. Okay, good. You know what? Yep, no that. There we go. Good. I'm so glad that I checked that, cause there we go. Two. Uh. Number three is a fifteen. Number four is add. Number five is, all right, number four. Number five is out. And number six is halt. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's run that. Clear. Perfect. Okay. And uh, it looks like this did not pick up that 13 bug as well. So it looks like that minor delay helped that so that's good perfect um and halt is happening immediately so all right so let's try this with a jump so um so we want to say uh oh all right yeah we'll do the easy one so we're gonna say we want to say um i uh, we want to say um, count all the way up and then count all the way down. So we'll do this with a, a – this will use both of them, so the carry and the zero. So we'll say um, zero, load immediate, load a immediate, um, and then we're going to load a – oh, actually, you know what? No, we're not even going to need to load a immediate. Let's, uh, let's, let's think about this for a second. It starts with zero. So, okay, so yeah, what we're actually going to say is zero. I'm going to say load B immediate, and we're going to load a one. And then we're going to say uh, add. No, we're going to say out. Yes, out. Oh, uh, it'll be out or add. 
we'll do our output and then we'll say th three is add and then um yeah okay sure so we'll we'll display so we'll load one into b zero will be an a we output what's an a then we add them and we replace what's an a um so then we want to jump back to um our output every time is that right all right well we'll just start with this um so add and then we'll say uh jump if carry so if it gets to 255 If it gets to 255, does that carry bit happen as soon as, um, oh, we don't have a regular jump. Oh gosh, damn it. I don't have a regular jump. Oh, I don't have a regular jump. Oops. I, I need a regular zero jump command oh back to the fucking eprom programming and let that take fucking 20 minutes okay i feel so dumb right now um yeah i don't have a basic jump command all right let's see uh jump zero jump carry how about just jump? Uh, you know what? I can... Yes, this is conditional jump. So here, yeah. This one we're just going to say jump. <coughs> there we go. We've got an actual reason for our no-op here. So this one we're going to say... Um, carry out. Uh... Oh, actually... Yeah, no, 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 no. Yep, that's that's correct. So from here to here. Jump. So carry out, memory in, ram out, jump, and then skip to the next one. Okay, cool. This is really what this should be. Okay. Wow. That's really silly. So this is actually, that's actually really interesting because I don't actually need this. I can just say you could template jump. Yeah. I'm going to leave it as it is for the moment. I don't even know if it works at all or not. Okay. <sighs> Compile that. All right, it is compiled. Let's pop this up. All right, and then we'll get to completely rewrite how our program works while this goes. All right. Uh, is, this, is, this, is this still set correctly? Yes, it is. That fails the first time, and then it compiles, and serial monitor. So while that, um, while that programs this EEPROM, nah. the USB cable is a little bit long down there. All right, well, ah. camera stay. All right, let's re re rejigger how we're doing this. So. Um, so, like, I could write pseudocode, but that seems like a lot of work. Um, so, oh, excuse me. All 
All right, so let's see, load. Come on, man, would you just fold backwards? All right. Um, so we're gonna say load immediate into B. Oh, this makes way more sense if I do this. L-I-A, L-I-B, and then L-D-A, and L-D-B. There we go, load versus load immediate. There we go, L-I, B, uh, the number one, L, I, B, and then the number one, okay. So load B, so load a one into B. We're assuming safely that an A, that A has, is zero because we're at the start of the program. So um, load B and load a one into B. Then we want to output the contents of A, add them together, store the contents in A, which is how the add command works. Oh, I, I, I need to concentrate right now and words don't help. Okay. So output what's in A, add together to get the new value in A, then jump to jump back to our output section but first uh if it is zero jump to a different section in memory okay so so out then add that's not normally how i write a's that's weird so first um, jump if there's a carry to the subtraction section to the, we'll say the, the memory address here. And if not, jump to, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, jump to number two. So this section will actually just start at well i mean we might as well start at eight um but we'll jump over to here and we'll say um it's carried so we're gonna first things that we're the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to if we output if the carry is high then it's added it's rolled over right so it should we should subtract and then output. We should subtract one so that we roll back one. And then output. <laughs> yes. So subtract one. Output. Then subtract again. And then jump if zero to uh if it becomes zero then we're good going back over here so we'll go to two and we'll go to eight i guess and then if not jump to so eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so jump to the output to display the new value jump to nine okay so that's how we're gonna program it whoa that was partially off camera i apologize so this is written a little bit funky but here are our two loops um two loops and then jumping between the two loops so we're gonna we're gonna loop in here we're gonna loop in here and then we have a breakout point in each one. And then we just have a setup. So, cool. That should be good, assuming that these EEPROMs ever program. Hey, perfect. First one's done. All right.
All right. Press the button again. And it's programming the next one. Okay. Okay. Uh, yep. Cool. So, now we are literally just waiting for the EPROMs to program. And we have our program written. Um, I suppose I could check to see if this, if I were to load into the instruction register a jump if zero command. Oh, and I should be able to see, um, I should be able to see the, uh, um, carry. Ooh, you know what? The carry might actually go one high here, so I might not need this extra subtract. I think the carry might... Hmm. Hmm. I can't recall how the carry works. So this might not hit 255. It might hit 254 and then start counting down. But... Um, when we get... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For the moment, I want to load in... Whoop, 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 whoop. I want to load in... Um, just a basic function, and let me switch back to the other view while the EEPROM programmer is running. So. Okay. Um, so, I want to load in a jump instruction, um, and I want to load in a... Uh, the jump zero and jump carry to see if they actually go properly. So the jump zero is jump if zero is uh, 16. Um, jump if zero is 16. So if we actually say whoop, you, so jump if zero, which it will be. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Why are you not on? Oh. Uh. That's not right. Hold on a second. Oh, well, you know what? We should have a... Oh, because flags in isn't done. Right. Oh, shit. I'm going to need to reprogram these again, because I never put flags in as a, an instruction. Flags in. Ah! All right, hold on. Before we reprogram again, I'm literally going to stop that. Um, as part of some of these instructions, I need to add flag in. So add and subtract. Um, flags in. And then you flags in. Is that where Ben puts them? Because that seems reasonable. It is. Cool. Mm. Cool. Why does this seem further out? Oh, because he's adding a specific number, that's why. Okay. All right. That makes me feel dumb. Please restart programming. All right. Cool. All right, uh, yes, that's what we're going to stick with for the moment. Um, I still want to check. I will literally just manually set these flags, actually. Um, hey, buddy. Uh, I can set flags in manually during that instruction time, huh? Cool. Look at that. All right, cool. So, 
Uh, so let's see. We're going to actually want to um, add something first. So we're going to load a immediate. Um, that's fine. We'll add 10. And then load B immediate. Uh, we'll load um, 48. Uh, okay. Um, then we're going to want to add. And then on this add instruction, I will have to bring the flags high. <laughs> I will try to remember to do that. And then we'll say... Uh, for the next instruction after the add, we're going to say jump if zero. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's say subtract because I actually haven't done a subtraction yet. So I've added and then I'm going to subtract, um, which is, hold on. Oh, damn it. That keeps popping up. It keeps popping up. Uh, so this is an add, cool. Then a subtract. Uh, oh wait, uh, no, I'll just I'll just change what frickin' numbers I'm doing. All right, load a. The number that I'm gonna load into a is ten. Okay, and then the load b. Uh, load b. The number I'm going to load into B is also 10. And then I'm going to say subtract. Subtract. And then I'm going to say... Uh, so during subtract, I'll set flag. And then jump if a zero, which is that. Jump if zero... And then zero, I want to go, I'm going to go, say, go to address uh, two, go to address two. So that'll load 10 into B and then subtract. Okay. And then after that, halt. Okay. All right, let's try that. Let's try that. That might that might work. Let's see. So, clear, good. Okay, so I'm sorry. Why is that I'm sorry? Wait, what? Why is memory in going to absolutely nothing? So this should be This should be going counter out memory in. Counter out memory in. But uh, counter out is probably something that popped, isn't it? Uh, where's counter out? Oh. Right. That's EPROM 2. <laughs> ah! I can't actually test a bunch of these things. That's why. Damn it. All I want to do is try this. It's not going to let me do it. Um, what flag is memory in? No, I'm not going to be able to do this on my own. Uh, memory address register in. Is the eighth. Oh, so it's actually counter out. That's the problem. It's one, two, three three four past that one two three four hey, all right counter out counter out memory in okay uh okay is it really counter out memory and then counter out memory in again? That mm, seems. Wait, this isn't doing this. Oh, because is it counter out memory in and then counter out instruction register in? 
Uh, yeah, no, they, I can, there's too much without the uh, e, the second EEPROM in there, so. Which is programmed now, so that's nice. Let me toss it in for a moment. Ugh, I don't like putting it in while the board's on, but I don't like taking them out while the board's on either, so. Um, all right. Oh yeah, that uh, that fucked with some shit. Um, what's this supposed to be? Load A, <laughs> and then load B. Then yeah, no, literally, yeah, no, the board got reset anyway. All right, all right, let's program number one. Put it in the right way. It's in the right way. Press the button. And it's programming. Okay. I literally can't do anything that I want to do while I don't have all the EPROMs in there. I mean, this is a good uh, use of the fourth EPROM. <laughs> this is a good use of the fourth EPROM. Um, let's at least make sure that this is working. Um, let's at least make sure that this is working. So this one, I should be able to bring high easily. Oh yeah, uh, it's not working because I don't have the clock. The clock isn't uh, across there. The clock. <laughs> Try to pull a another yellow that will go across. See, I'm so glad that I noticed that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You clock. Not quite long enough. But these pre-made yellow ones are going to be too long, aren't they? What about this one? It's another random sized yellow one. If not, I'll cut down one of the um, pre-made ones. How about you? Are you long enough? Oh, oh! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this is perfect. And actually, I had extended it at some point. So if I... <laughs> put it back to the original size that I cut it for. It'll be actually perfect. All right. Uh, yeah, seven to seven, perfect. Oh, I can't believe that works as well as it does. You can go back to where you were, I will. This one can go around. There we go. There we go. All right, so clock works for that. Now, let's try that. Um, nothing happens when I cycle it. That's fine. Okay. Why is, is this, is this subtract flag on right now? Why is it? No. What is this? Why are you high? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that is, uh, that is the subtract flag for some reason. Subtract is definitely meant to be over here. So it's not this. So subtract. Ah! I pulled out my. Pulled out my things again. Stay! 
Just stay. Is it so much to ask for you to not just pop out at every given opportunity? Is that too much to ask? Just all over the place. I'm gonna just like... Just want to like zip tie it together. This one comes from where? Oh yeah, that comes way, way, way far over there. Why, why is this, uh, why is this high? Because obviously the flag itself is not high. Yep. Because this, this... Oh, that is very confused. Yeah. Uh, that's that's fun that that does that. I don't know why that does that, but. Uh. I I assume that it's not because I put this in here. No. Though that did just trigger the clock, so. I should probably not do that. Uh, should I just wait until the other EPROMs are done? Well, hey, look, the second EPROM is done. Programming the next one. Good. All right. So, yeah, I think it was just, it was very confused without this in here, and something was getting pulled high. That's what this comes down to. Some things were getting pulled high. Um, this is a zero right now. I'm going to pull, pull, um, I'm going to pull uh, the flags bit high which is this one here. Why would I bother going down there when I can put it up here? Flags bit is high and cycle the clock. Oh, I'm sorry, is that the halt bit? No. Why is, uh... Right, because again, the, the, the halt being... The halt being here makes this very confused. Even though it's not high, it's it's not high enough to pull the um, LED high apparently, but it is high enough that it doesn't want it doesn't want to uh, turn on. Just cycle, would you? The zeros did not input. The zeros did not input. So, the zero flag. Let's, um, I have this extra LED. No, I have this. We're actually gonna pull, pull this back out and see if that input is correct or not. Helps if I hook this up correctly. Zero. Okay. Alright. Um, let's 
turn this on. Yeah, so this is high. So this should be being input. Uh, this is the clock, which I'm going to remove the halt circuit from. No, that's the problem, is that it is going high there because it thinks that it wants to be high. How's that other EEPROM going? It's going. Um, halt is going to stay low. Yeah, so the clock is definitely working there. So is the clear circuit wrong? Is it not clearing for some reason? Is it clearing for some reason? Mm. Uh, so it's not, it's definitely low for a clear, which is good because that's what this clear should be. Um, and that is on the correct pin. Uh, if I say flags in, if I say flags in, sorry, let me actually stick that up here. That should go high. Mm. It's not accepting that for some reason. Yeah, it does not like that. Why doesn't it like that? This is high. Unless it's outputting opposite for some reason, but it's not. No, this is high. Do I literally have, like, not power and ground connected correctly or something? Hold on. 9 and 10 are... Oh! Flags in is supposed to be, um... Flags in is supposed to be inverted. That's why. Flags in is inverted. Good thing I have this handy NAND up here. Shit. So if I remove this and instead pull this low, then cycle. Well, that's a zero. Cool. Uh, cool. That's fun. Um, well, shoot. All right, well, the, the last EEPROM is done. So let's put that in. And then let's fix the flag circuit. I don't have any more. Um, don't have any more room at the end down here. So I literally have to bring it up to use this this hand this is nand all right i can't believe it i can't believe this ah i'm not popping my shit off again ah all right all right hold on put the micrometer away Micrometer? No, wait. Multimeter, not micrometer. Voltmeter. Put the voltmeter away. This can go over here. All right, for the moment, uh, just like I'm not going to do these correctly, this is going to... 
be a little bit odd. Where'd this, where'd this one pop off to? <coughs> this other one popped off and I have no idea where it is. Okay. Okay. That's where that one is anyway. You two here. You outputting down here to flags in. And then I have to tie that together. So, jumper that together. Uh, that together. Okay. So, let's try this one more time. Let's try a basic jump. I have a basic jump, which is the command for jump is uh, one 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 zero. So one 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 zero. That's what I'm going to program into there, and then in <laughs> number two, I'm going to program a zero. So I'm literally just saying <laughs> zero go to one. Okay. That's it. That's that's the program. Let's see what happens. It should just go it should just switch these two values basically. Um Oh, no it didn't like it. Didn't like it. Let's try that slower. All right. So go to the place. This is the, in the instruction. And the jump says Counter out memory in. Good. Ram out and then jump. So zero over there. Ah, oh, ram out isn't working. Hold on a moment. Okay. So this is jump here, which should be connected up. Like, I see a bunch of things up here. One of them has to be this, right? I see a bunch of things coming in from there. Hold on. Hold on. Awkward. Awkward turtle. Okay. Ah! So mad right now. Where is it? It literally popped here and disappeared from my sight. Oh, here it is. Okay. Did I hook this up or not? Did I not hook this up? No, there, there is one under there. Okay. So, yeah. So, whichever one is up here, this should have ram out counter in. Uh, so, jump, yes. Um... RAM data out is <coughs> uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What? Wait. 1, 2, oh, I'm sorry. 1, 2, I'm sorry. That's my bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is correct. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, so RAM out is correct. And it should be pulling in here. And it did! No, that res that was reset. Ah! Brr. Counter enable. Yep. Yeah, so the counter enable happened. And then the jump says Oh, okay, yeah, counter out memory in. Yep. Ram out jump for step 4. 
Zero, one, two, three. Oh, we're on step three. We're on step three. Huh. Am I just counting wrong? Is my brain broken? Am I counting wrong? Counter out, memory in. Ram out, instruction register, and counter enable. That's step two. Counter out, memory in. Good. Counter out, memory in. Yes, that's correct. Counter out, memory in. Yes, I'm sorry. Then ram out and jump. So ram out and jump. See, that's fascinating. Is the skip happening too quickly? Let me, let me pull skip low. Let me force skip low. Skip low. So that now cannot skip. No, it's just not, no, I let skip go, yeah. No, so the jump in is not working. The load is not working. What if I, uh, just out of curiosity, in uh, one, I just set this to two. Yeah, so that is not working. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. So the load is not working. Okay. These are two different 161s, but that shouldn't be a problem. Um. Huh. Yeah, I always tangle these up. All right. All right, let's go back to where this is supposed to be and see if this is coming up properly. There. Okay, so just checking that. Whoops. Yep, cool, that works. Um, <coughs> um why did... That's interesting. Trying to measure that should not, uh, should not short that, but here we are. Oh, that, because that's not, ah. That was wrong. That was plugged in wrong. That that felt dumb. There we go. That's better. Okay, so uh bum 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 bum. So let's see, reset this. Um no, reset this. Zero we're setting to a basic jump command. Basic jump command. Zero we're setting to a basic jump command. One we are setting to zero. Okay. Okay. So now then, yeah, cycle forward until that jump command. Uh, counter out memory in, that's correct. So now this jump should pull one of these bits high. One of these control bits. This is out. This, none of the, neither of these are actually, uh, hi, where, 
Hmm. All right, which one is this supposed to be? Let's see, the program counter schematic, which is slightly modified, of course. Uh, program counter schematic will tell me the 74LS161, yeah, PE9. Oh. You know what? Yeah. Counter enable. So we have counter enable is 7 and 10. Clock out is, or counter out is um, over here to 19. Clear is number one. Clock. So counter enable is to. Ah! That's it. Hold on. That is not connected to anything. That would do it. That's supposed to be one over. Hold on. Uh, how about there? You want to do that instead? There we go. Let's put this back on. There we go. Uh, yeah. Cool. Now that'll actually be connected to something. So that's fun. So now when I press this button, this should go to zero. There. There. All right. Okay. I feel really dumb. But now, so this should just bounce back and forth, right? If I put this on auto... Yep, one zero, one zero, one zero, and it's just jumping back and forth. Okay, so jump works. Basic jump works. Let's look at jump conditional. <coughs> uh, I didn't disconnect anything else over here, right? No. Okay. Gotta put this back on. find something else for here for later okay here's our program this will test our jumping capabilities um, let me get the multimeter out of the way again go away All right, here's our jump program. All right, zero is load immediate B, which is 100. Oh. Boop. All right, um, then in one goes a one, then in two, goes in out. Then in three goes an add. Then in four goes a jump carry, which is one there, one there. Okay. Then in five goes an eight. Uh, an eight. Okay, then in six goes a regular jump. Just confirming that I know what a jump looks like. Okay, six goes a regular jump. Oh, sorry. Um, and then in, so in six goes a regular jump. Uh, in seven goes a two. Um, and then in eight, we've got our subtract, which is also an eight, coincidentally. 
Then in nine, we have an out. And then in 10, we have another subtract. And then in 11, 11, we have a jump zero, which is this. Then in 12, 12, we get a two. And then in 13, we have a jump. And in 14, we have a nine. Eight, nine, and then just because in 15 we'll have a halt even though it will literally never reach there all right okay zero one i just uh, gonna make sure we have at least something in in these hey how's it going rachel the little the dip switches yeah uh they once once they actually stay in place these ones tend to be a little bit loose on the board but, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, hold on one sec, sorry. Yes. Yes, that's what they're called, dip switches. Um, all right, zero, one, two, yep. Three, good, four, nope, four, yes. Five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, twelve, thirteen, uh, twelve, thirteen, and a uh, fourteen. Okay, all right. Uh, let me just double check that. 14 is 9. Okay. All right. This should count. This should count up and down. Uh, let's just reset. Oh, make sure we, uh, we turn that. Okay. So it counts. So that's good. Um, oh, that's so interesting. It when I it just looks like these flags stay on when this starts going very fast. That's really interesting. All right, two fifty. All right, two fifty four. Okay, so two fifty five. That carry flag now hits, and it stays at two fifty five. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that's interesting. Something weird is happening there. Oh, whoa, hey. Yeah, wait a minute. I'm getting out of my uh I'm getting out of my I'm getting out of my regular area. Hold on. Let's go up until we hit 255-ish. Near 255 and then we'll stop because I'm I think I've jumped out of my range where I'm supposed to be. Oh. Yeah, so. Yeah, something, something's, something's messing up with one of these jumps. Yeah, and this just stays it. is really tricky right getting right around here okay all right hold on a second so 255 and add right 
right? Yes, add. So, zero and carry both go high. Um, what are we on? We're on three. Yep. So then, yep, we just hit four. So number four is our jump jump if carry. So we have jump if carry. It should load in. So we have a carry bit, so it should load in a number eight and bring us over to number eight. So let's see. That's an eight. Uh oh. Wait a minute, I might have written jump if carry wrong, because, so this is supposed to go to number eight. Yeah, this is going to number eight. Wait, not right now. Okay, there we go. Instrumental only. Uh, so this is supposed to bring number eight into here. Um, so this goes to... Yes, it's in five. It should go to six. Um, it did not do that. Oh, yeah, so it loaded an eight in here. Perfect. So now eight says subtract. Yes. So that is subtracted. Oh! It's subtracted, but I, I have a 255 in there. So now I have a zero in there. And then I have a 255. Hold well, on, then I have a 255 in A. Yeah, no, that's correct. So I have a 255 in A. Then jump if zero, which it was not zero. So... Uh, what are we at? This is eight, nine... Let's go to 10, 10, K. So now we should subtract one from this. Good, 254. Uh, it did not get stored in A though. A is still 255. There we go, all right, yep. And this one is this is a carry. This is a jump if carry. This is the, the carry flag. So we're still good here. This should be a jump with jump if zero. That should, that's coming up. So this is, what are we on? We're at number 10. Subtract. Yes, yeah, so number 11. Good. Jump if zero. Good. It's not zero. So we should just enable the counter and then move on. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, my jump with zero does not have a skip in it. Uh, or rather, my, uh, my regular jump does not have a skip. Oh! My jump if zero doesn't have a counter enable in it. So it... Oh, it doesn't have a counter enable in it. So, number two is not actually loading in here. And then it's trying to screw around with... It's going to load... It's going to load another random thing, I think. So then, yeah, so then it then it's just going to start screwing around. Yeah, so it has a 2 now, and that 2 is now in here, but a 2 is a load B. Oh, and it's going to load it's going to load the jump instruction instead. The jump instruction is now loaded in here. Oh, that's frustrating. Oh, that's actually not the jump instruction. I'm sorry, two? Two is load B. Oh, 
2 is load B. Oh, it's trying to load it from the memory register for 9. So it's loading into B the memory register from 9? Or the what is in number 9? An out? Oh, yeah, it's gotten very confused. Yeah. And then I think at some point something got written to 0. Okay. All right, well, let's reprogram that jump with zero. Um, cool. Cool. That's fun. That's fun. All right. I just wish that the EEPROM programming didn't take 15 minutes. It literally takes six minutes per EEPROM. Um... Alright. Um, so, is there anything else that I'm really missing here? Yeah, jump, zero, counter enable, and then skip. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, just go ahead and uh, pop that in there. Alright. That's got to program for a bit. <clears throat> Great. <coughs> ah. This is, uh... Yep. So that's, uh... That's a thing I fucked up. <laughs> and then I think... Somewhere along the line there, it got, like, a store A stuck around or a store B, and, yeah, it just started really jumping around really confused because I didn't... I counter-enabled for the carry, but not for the, um... Because the carry clearly worked. The jump carry definitely worked. Um, so it's just the jump zero that's a problem. Now, in theory, I should be able to do this with a jump carry. Well... I'd have to rewrite several things though. So that's just gonna that's just gonna run for a bit. Um I'm going to go get a drink. And I'm going to pause the music because I'm not trying to make money off of Overclocked Remix. Overclocked Remix on YouTube. Check them out. Well on SoundCloud, all the things. Anyway. Um yep, that's just gonna sit there while that programs. I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> I should not make more tea this late. I'm not going to make more tea this late. That's what I'm telling myself. Take a shot off the uh, kettle that I just turned on.
But what if it's herbal? That's a good question. Uh, I mean, I don't have a lot of herbal teas. That's that's a fair point, though. I feel like I should probably just drink water <laughs> at this point. I don't know. We'll We'll see. This is coming down to the end of it. Come on. How's your uh how's your evening going tonight? Everything calm and quiet and wonderful. You're also finishing off a stout so you're doing better. I I do not think that that's fair. Listen. Do you know how often I drink while I'm streaming? Don't tell Twitch. All right, there's one. that in the correct way don't burn it out okay Whoop. carefully in the right holes please and okay there we go once this beer is gone, you're planning to sit down with Wave Kings until you fall asleep. So, I right, all right. Question for you: Are you um, sitting down with the uh, actual physical book, or are you uh, sitting down with the audio book? Because I uh, I feel like if you sit down and uh, try and fall asleep while reading the Way of Kings, you're going to suffocate yourself when you drop the book on your face in the end, um, and no one will be able to rescue you. Um, I just finished Oathbringer by the, by the way. Oh yeah, gosh, absolutely. You should audiobook these. Um, Oathbringer is 55 hours long. So yeah. Um, actually let me pull that up cause, uh, Yes, uh, it's it's kind of bonkers how long these are in audio format because they're stupid long in um, in written format. We'll say. All right, uh, I literally just finished Oathbringer. Uh, I am going to delete it from my phone. Actually, remove from device. Uh, no, 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 no! Don't download it. Just let me look at it. Damn it. Cancel download. Details. Details. You've got working coming up in your future. You absolutely should be doing um I well, number one, awesome. Good. Um are you are you guys starting to set up for something new soon ish? I assume not super soon ish. Yes, you would love doing audiobooks. I highly recommend The Wheel of Time because everybody should read The Wheel of Time because it's not for everyone, but if you like Brandon Sanderson, you're going to like The Wheel of Time. Oh, escape room work. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think you mentioned that you were doing that. Awesome. Awesome. I just got there. 55 hours and five minutes um, for Oathbringer. Um, that's, that's how long Oathbringer is. Uh, Words of Radiance is 48 hours. And Way of Kings is 45 and a half hours. So I just listened to 150 hours of um, 150 hours of, of Stormlight so that I could listen to the 57 hours of Rhythm of War. He needs to write less, <laughs> which is really dumb. But yeah, yeah, um, they uh, last forever. Um, and I've been reading them as like, you know, drive to work. I'm not doing anything somewhere. You know, other times I'm doing dishes. Always reading and it takes me forever. I literally started reading Way of Kings like maybe a couple weeks before Rhythm of War came out. And I just finished the three books now. So, um, uh, which, uh, which, which one, uh, which one did you, uh, did you just buy? 
Um, but yeah, seriously, wait, uh, 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 Wheel of Time. Get get on that stuff. Um, on a oh yeah, on a reread, yeah, on a reread, it's fine to um to start late. Well, it means that I've already had I've had one Rhythm of War spoiler happen. Yes, <laughs> I sorry, uh, uh, words of Wadiance. Yes, uh. Yeah, so I've had one Rhythm of War spoiler, so that's the only downside, really, that I can say. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, uh, I have I have three audiobook suggestions, which I know you'll already be on board with, because I know that um, we have very similar tastes, and that you've already read a bunch of the books that I've read. But specifically for audiobooks, um, I... The Wheel of Time obviously is something that you can read for literally forever. Um, it each book is going to be about thirty hours ish. So multiply that by fifteen. Um, the the um, name of the wind. I really enjoyed as an audiobook. Nick Podell does a great job. Um and um Tim Gerard Reynolds does Ryura and he's also shockingly good. Um I I've read a couple of I I I've had a couple of other things. I don't have a I don't have a wide range of of who uh I don't have a wide range of of audiobook narrators, we'll say, but um, I have heard Will Wheaton read two different books now, and while it's like, oh, neat, it's Will Wheaton, he's fine, he's fine. It's mostly just like, oh, it's Will Wheaton. Um, it actually worked uh, hilariously well for um, for. Ready Player One. Um, it were it he were oh hey we're done. Um, Will Wheaton worked um hilariously well for Ready Player One because it's uh we'll say right in that like nerd zone, which is probably why he did that in the first place. Um, whoop. um probably why he did that uh uh book in the first place but um <coughs> my point is um ready player one yes uh i also uh listened to red shirts by john scalzi um which is a very it's a very good book um if if you like star trek you should read red shirts that obviously because it's written it's written for it's written as as a like star star trek lower decks sort of sort of story but um you know it's also very very um you know meta commentary on star trek and that sort of thing yeah I would suggest reading it because the the tone or the 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 prose in the book is very this is what I'm saying to you he said this is how I'm replying she said this is the next thing I'm saying he said this is a witty comment she said it's very dry and Will Wheaton does not change voices between characters much so it like th there is exchanges back and forth for i like in the book it's probably an entire page of he said she said he said she said he said he said he said he said he said, he said. um like th it's probably like an entire page that there's one discussion at some point and i literally was like I don't know who's talking unless I'm paying attention to the he or the she. I can't tell which character it is that's talking. So that one is 
not on my recommended list for for the audiobooks, even though it is a very good book. Um, and I do not regret listening to it on an audiobook, but not be the top of my list. Anyway, you you have avoided this subreddit so hard you've come out unspoiled. I accidentally clicked on one picture. I was very tired one night, and I was like, oh, cool. Let's take a look at this picture of Taravangian. Oh, that's something he's holding that I shouldn't know. It's been a while since I've read Oathbringer, and I'm in the middle of Words of Radiance. That's not... Is that... Oh, hey. That's... that's That didn't happen in that book, right? No? Yeah. Okay, cool. I guess... Mmm. Fun. So, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not super proud. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, I feel stupid for that. But other than that, I've, I've been pretty lucky to avoid most spoilers. So we'll see what happens when 57 hours later. So, yeah. I mean, it's honestly, I just should have unsubscribed from the sub. Um... But I mean, it's like a bunch of the stuff, you know. Even with even with like flare spoilers, um, but it, you know, you know, flare marking like what book level spoilers there are. Um, I feel like I probably should be able to avoid a bunch of it. But you know, it's like, oh hey, who's who's the ambition? Is this something that I should uh, know about? This is on the Brandon Sanderson sub. This isn't on the the Stormlight sub. Who the fuck is Ambition? Okay, let's go to let's go to the copper mine. And let's let's you know make sure that we're in the like pre Dawn Shard uh, uh, edit timeline so that I can look up Ambition. Oh, Ambition was the shard that was on Threadney in Shadows for. S- silence in the forests of hell which i swear brandon that's the most confusing fucking title why did you name your character silence it was literally just for that title wasn't it anyway my point is it's like oh i you know i i can't tell what's going to be like a cosmere wide spoiler versus like oh by the way there's a shard that's called ambition it takes place on another planet there's not a lot of information about it it's in one short story. So, yeah, I I mean that's the 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 downsides of reading an author's work um the downsides of reading an author's work where he has you know this this like multi uh, series spanning, you know, multiverse essentially, um, or like, you know, the, the, the Cosmere, AKA the like Sanderson universe, you know, uh, you know, what, when is something going to come up in one book or another? So you, you still, oh, finally, um, you read some discussions before words of radiance release on the subreddit and you were still lost since you doing a full reread. Um, even as fast as he can produce massive books and memory retention do not mix. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at as well. Like Mary, Mary was like, "Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing a full reread before re- <laughs> no." So she, um, you know, was like, "All right, let's Google Stormlight recaps and uh, see what we can find." That's that's where that's where we're, she's going. So, all right. Let's program this again. Right, yes. That um I don't know if she found it on the copper mind or if she found it um somewhere else, but that that sort of thing. There are also really good ones for the wheel of time for that as well. I'm gonna turn the music back on. Um, um all right. I you do that for Oathbringer is incredibly helpful. Yes, that is a good plan. Um, all right, let me get this programmed. Sorry, the comments are behind me at the moment while I while I pull this up and uh, all right. 
All right, let's see. So, zero, load immediate B, which is a 100. Boop, okay. One is a one. Check. Two is an out, which is that. Three is an add, which is that. Four is a jump carry, which is that. Five is five is an eight. Okay. Um, yes, good. Five. Five is an eight. Um, Six is a jump. Two. Uh, six is a jump. Seven is a two. Eight is a subtract. Subtract? Yes, correct. Uh, nine is an out. Ten is a subtract. Eleven is a jump if zero. Nope, that's not right. That's not right. That one is jump if zero. And four is supposed to be the other jump there, right? Good. Uh, oh, that, uh, no. Four, please. Okay, good. So then 12 is a two. 13 is a jump. And 14 is a nine. Uh, nine and then 15 even though it never gets there is a hole okay versus the single full work summary that was just a different book altogether yes yes absolutely that's how that kind of works let's you know you read the uh, the short version is 15 pages uh, all right let's see Oops, 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 oops. There we go. Let's turn that on to uh, automatic mode, right? All right, let's see. This should start counting up any moment. Good. This is really tough for me to get between like medium speed and ultra high speed. Okay. 255, 255, 254, <gasps> 253, 2, 1, 0, 1, 2, ah, it's doing it, ah, hold on, hold on, hold on, this is like, there we go, yes, <laughs> It works! <laughs> I have a Turing complete CPU! Ah! <laughs> ah! You know how long this has taken? <laughs> Ooh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy right now that this is working. I have other things that I need to fix, like I need to fix the stack. It's fine. It's fine. It counts up and it counts down. I, w I will I will be playing around with this some more later, but holy shit. And actually, it's funny because we never get above... No, we, we must get above. <coughs> it's, it's not flickering fast enough here. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we only get above eight when... Um, 
We only get above 8 when we are in the subtract mode. Um, that's so neat. Alright. It's literally like the difference between the zero and lightning speed is so much. Um. It's like it's like a hair's breadth. Which I mean like I can just I can just let it go. Like this is this is running at 1 kilohertz. It counts up, it counts down. It runs at what just under 1 kilohertz technically. But like it is so hard to get it just below 1 kilohertz. There we go. These mostly look solid and it's counting. All right. I have to leave it here tonight. I have to leave it here tonight. And this is actually, this is going to be the last CPU build one. So, you know, Rachel, I hope that you uh, enjoy the rest of your stout and uh, go enjoy Way of Kings and fall asleep with it not crushing you to death. Um, everybody else, thank you for joining me. And, uh, you know, check out the Discord where I'm going to be posting a couple of extra things with this. Um... I'm just so glad that it is working. I'm so glad that this is working. So, yeah. I think I'm gonna sign off. Have a great night.